So Peter Rasher here from Anzac Day Precinct YouTube channel um, and in our previous uh, edits uh, we've discussed one of the two Canon Garland letters and in this very appropriate um, place which David can do, give us a br brief intro which is the Remembrance Day area uh, here at the Hexham Abbey um, which I think you, Peter Collins, would very much appreciate. Um, so, David, over to uh, to yourself with a quick summary of where we're actually situated or seated, uh, and then on to the letter. Great. We're in the north transept of Hexham Abbey, and uh, we're right by a couple of chapels that are here, always have been chapels, but this one used now as our remembrance chapel. Um, and particularly, I mean, obviously remembering those people from Hexham who died in the two world wars, but um, maintained and particularly important to the Northumberland Fusiliers who uh, are based close by and who use this as their uh, place of worship. Um, and we are recording this at the middle of November, so we have just had our Remembrance uh, Day services here. Uh, and the church would have been packed a fortnight ago uh, and remembrance is on the Monday following um, for Remembrance Day. And the church has a number of uh, flags of the honours of uh, various regiments that there were here in the past uh, hanging in it. Uh, but I'm really here because I wanted just to kind of, and I think there is a link here, um, to the way in which we kind of celebrate um, those things which are important to us as a nation. Um, and the uh, the uh, year of 19, the years of 1936-37 were obviously years which um, the church uh, was aware of and uh, had to deal with the issues that, of the fallout, as it were, from the abdication of the king and the coronation of uh, King George VI. Uh, obviously the countries across the world in what is now the Commonwealth um, were invited to take part in that. And I can just imagine how the order went out to, to Brisbane to say, we're going to celebrate the coronation. Who can we get to be the person who will ensure that this is done properly? Uh, there's a man here, Canon David Garland, who will ensure that. And so I've got a couple of little uh, extracts from this letter which show the role that he played. Um, our coronation celebrations in Queensland were all that I would wish them to be. Whoa. It passes muster. The government set up a committee with the Minister of the Crown as chairman and his comment afterwards that I had got everything done in the way I wanted, which meant also that the government wanted it in the same way. Um, I love that, um, that he had the idea, but that the government could claim to be the ones who thought it was a good idea after it had happened. Um, and, the, and the connection between my father uh, who was doing a similar job in, um, in Westminster, in London, and him was interesting. So they shared satisfaction that the uh, process had gone well, that the celebrations had gone well uh, in December uh, 1936. Um, also in, in the letter, it records that David Garland had been uh, ill. Thanks for your inquiry after my health. I had another bad attack a few months ago and was not expected to recover by morning. But when morning came, I laughed at the doctor and after a fortnight's rest, got about again, including presiding over the synod in committee as chairman. It's uh, de distinctly a strain and I get very tired every day. Now, if you remember the last letter, he told us what he did on a Sunday when he was just the uh, mere age of 72. Um, and it was extraordinary. Uh, here he is saying he's had to slow down a little bit, but he continued in his work uh, for two years following the writing of this letter, so uh, he had clearly had made a significant enough recovery to continue his work. So, thank you, David, for another insightful chapter into this uh, YouTube playlist, um, and thank you, viewers.